Cowboy crossover here, baby. Jante, your best baller in boots. How you guys doing today? 43 Hoop family. Miss you guys. I felt like being creative on this one. But actually today I have a, I have a real workout for you guys. Um, it's going to consist of um, ball handling segment, uh, roughly 30 minutes of ball handling. Um, and then you have a sequential push-ups. So you're going to go from 10 um, and work yourself through the workout until you get to one. And then also you're going to do the same with squats. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to start with my ball handling stuff first. Don't mind the blues, baby. These are authentic. Okay, Toy Story, Toy Story 2s. You know what I'm saying? I got the Toy Story Volume 2s on. So, first thing we're going to start with is our ball handling. Now, you can do anything you want. This is more conditioning and uh, more fitness oriented. But for me, I'm going to go two dribbles with my right hand between between, two dribbles with my left hand between between, and I'm gonna go for 30 seconds each, okay? So I'll start. Whoa, boots, the boots. Okay, do that for about 30 seconds. Then I'm gonna switch, right? Man, these boots ain't got no traction, y'all. <laughs> 30 seconds each on that. After I'm done with that, here's where my sequential push-ups come in. So, I'm gonna do my 10 push-ups. Back up. I can do another workout, another exercise. Um, I actually was gonna use my jump rope. That thing broke on me, but then I'll go again, all right? So I'll go another 30 seconds. This time I might wanna switch up my ball handling. So maybe two dribbles, cross between. seconds there. Switch with my left hand. As you guys see, I keep that ball below my knee. Really quick snap. Even my other hand doesn't move, right? Stays under my knees, ready to switch. It's dirty down here in this basement, man. And I can't really breathe. Dust, termites, it's all building up. But after that, you guys know what's next. I'm down to nine, right? So I'll do my nine. Oh, switch on my dribbles. Maybe it's just another 30 seconds where I just go back and forth, right? As you guys, as you guys can see, I like going between my legs. I like using a lot of things that require me to sit. Crossovers can be done like this. That's fairly easy, that's a crossover. So do something that requires you to sit low, have your legs apart enough in an athletic position and also Something that allows you to imitate game speed, right? I don't want you guys ever to have to get to a game and now the only thing you can think of, boy, I am tired. And the only thing you can think of is, oh man, I've been standing up this whole time. Get yourself used to being in an athletic position. Get yourself used to being in an athletic stance. That way, when it comes down to the game or when we get back out of this, you guys can have your own imitation of the cowboy crossover, you know what I'm saying? You guys can be ready and prepare and set yourself apart from others uh, in your ball handling. Wow, anyway, the hardest part about that was the boots, I'm not gonna lie, no traction down here. But you guys can do that at home, you can add other exercises. It's also something that you can just do for cardio, as you can tell. So with that, that's your little fitness workout of the day. Go in order, start from 10, add your ball handling in there if you guys aren't feeling the burn from that, add another exercise to that. Uh, tell me what you guys think of the workout. Also, don't forget to like our pages, Facebook, like our pages on Instagram for boys and girls, or for the association and our girls at AU. And then uh, make sure you guys mention or ask what videos or tell us what videos you guys would like to see as well. Thanks guys.